you go. <laughs> oh, it's still 39 though. God damn. I'm stuck at 39 seconds, man. <sighs> so I'm lined up. I'm looking for my first three important cones, which is the first cone with the pointer, the second cone way down there with the pointer and then the last cone with the pointer all the way down by the entry of the slalom. Mm -hmm. And I'm just picturing in my brain a smooth line that connects around and that way. And then I can worry about what comes next, but I can get this first part out of the way as quick and smoothly as possible. My one, two shift is gonna be before that pointer cone. Here comes FTD, Terrence. What's that? Here comes FTD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that always happens. And then I just try to find the smoothest line, you know, without making any abrupt steering mm -hmm. inputs, just the smoothest line to kind of snake through all these weird uh, offsets. And most of the time that involves, like, setting up for the offset earlier, ahead of time. When I come around that 180 there, I know I need to be on the inside, so I'm like already steering to the inside. Mm -hmm. Then I know I'm going to the outside, so I'm steering, you know, to leave myself some space for that. It's just supposed to be smooth and flowing, and that's that's what ends up being the best. Yeah, I thought you guys were doing like trophies and shit. I just come out and just get eliminated. You guys are everybody just rushing back to the cars. I think you have a trophy in the truck from a previous event. Yeah, from last year's championship. Yeah. Yeah. Just being smooth and like connecting the, the lines, you know, but it takes a lot of time to like figure out the traction limits of your car and the weight balance and you know. That was fun, thanks. Yeah. How hard you can go without losing grip. <laughs> <laughs>